Hello everyone, um, recently I was in New Mexico on a dig and I got to talk to Alex Downs, the lead paleontologist I was working with. And uh, one night we were discussing it and he said, he brought up the topic of maybe one day we'll find terrestrial pterosaurs. And I got really, really interested about it and we started talking about it and I asked him, you know, what would you think we look like? You know, we, it, because pterosaurs were quadrupeds and what would a, a pterosaur with vestigial wings look like, and how do you, how would you how would it move? And I, the the thought of it really excited me. I thought it was cool, and like I, and he was so adamant that one day we will find him. And he said, uh, you know, the place to start digging now is California. So if you want to make your paleontology career, start digging in in California and look for land pterosaurs. And um, someone else brought up like the the thought that would it even be considered a pterosaur anymore because their name means flying reptile, but the the name naming names don't mean anything to the animal. But, I mean they should, but sometimes they don't. I mean like there's a uh, there's Van Clevia, the amphibian named after someone Van Cleve. He just gave it his name, you know. And uh, there's some other weird. <laughs> stupid name. like hyenadon that's one uh, hyenadon has nothing to do with a hyena really so there's like a bunch of random names out there so uh, terrestrial pterosaur as long as it has the same basic body of a pterosaur it'll still be a pterosaur even though it's flightless uh, just like there's flightless birds and flying birds today uh, but I, that would probably be the very first contradicting name a terrestrial pterosaur so that's <laughs> a flightless flying reptile that's what it would be so what do you guys think of one day finding flightless flying reptiles um, I'm, I can't wait I'm excited to see one that would be really cool uh, what do you guys think of it or do you think it's even plausible that we'll find uh, pterosaurs with vestigial wings and give me your thoughts on that um, uh, that's all I have for now to talk about uh, until next time have a groovy day